Alright, so we are starting the FPV quad build. And first things first, we have to solder up our NAS32 board. So there's our breakout cable. And here, the electrostatic bag. Then we have all our connectors. Leave that to the side. And in here, we have the board. So as you can tell, there's nothing on the board. That's what those connectors are for. You have to solder this up. <clears throat> so this will be one of my longer videos. Not much in the way of fast forward. So that way we get an up close on soldering. I'd like to say that my soldering skills aren't too bad. But when I first looked at this, I figured, you know, for a lot of people, it looks intimidating, but quite easy. So... If you have a set of handy hands, take them out now, pinch your stuff together. That will be your jig. I'm using a Weller soldering station with a pretty fine tip. Not that you need to, I've seen people do it with a chisel. But I do a lot of electronic work, so I had some sitting around, so we're going to take advantage of that. Alright, so I'm going to throw the pin into the connector. It's going to serve as a jig. Push that in ever so slightly. So we're going to line ourselves up <clears throat> like so. First off, we're going to get our solder, get our cleaning, our tip cleaning set up. And do another little measurement, make sure we're good, nice and tight. All right. <laughs> We have to straighten that board out in a second. First, we're going to clean the tip. Try that again. Yeah. It's going to have to be straightened out here for sure. And from there, you get one pin soldered, and then we can move things around. All right. Now for our solder. little glob will do and the solder follows heat alright so now we got some solder on there we can work around line our things up as soon as it cools everything will set so now just make our way down the line and hit the other pins so let me get the solder spool out and you might want to cut it off the spool. I find it goes good like that. Unravel what I need as I need. So here, if you don't get, uh, I guess, a clean solder joint, just add a little bit more heat. Everything will settle itself down. And if forever you do bridge to the connections, same as always, I had a little bit of heat and you should be able to clear the bubble by sliding the iron side to side. If not, you can only use a desoldering braid or a desoldering pump, I guess you'd say. I prefer the braid myself. So there's one side. And the other side is going to be just as easy. If not more, or easier, should I say. <laughs> oh, this time I'm not even going to bother putting in the handy hands. Just going to lay it up against the uh, solder iron uh, station. Or rest, I guess. <laughs> solder heat. And that one's done. Same for the next. <laughs> I shouldn't have to mention, but I guess I will. If you can, avoid sucking back those fumes. <laughs> All right. Perfectionist here. I want it to look clean. Right, leave that alone. On to the next here. Sometimes you get that little tail that follows up. I like to mush that down. 
clean the tip from time to time if you see it starts to get dark should say nice and clean and silvery looking always works so much better after you clean it so I guess we'll say you should clean it every time all right so that's done now on to the motor connection portion <laughs> so I guess the hardest part about this here is trying to wiggle everything into play without bending any of the pins not the most delicate here so that's why I'm making sure to take my time save me the frustration later <laughs> see I almost jammed it in there starting to get pissed alright so we're in And this one here, you lay flat now. Now throw into the handy hands, give us an angle. Hopefully you guys can get a better look of it on camera. I know it's hard to focus on this here. All these shiny surfaces makes it uh, hard, <laughs> hard work for the camera to focus on the stuff. Especially with me whipping my hands in front of the lens all the time. All right, so this part, again, smaller, but I'd say probably easier. Sorry, my hand's in the way. You'll see the next one here. Not this one, the one after that. Again, you're going to try to heat the pin and the soldering pad at the same time and just add uh, solder. You'll see it'll bubble and pool. And when you're done, you should see no more of that uh, solder pad. Everything should be covered with solder. Things get hot real quick here. Doesn't take long. And just work your way down the line. No particular order. I'm just given that I'm right handing right handed, sorry. Just makes sense to go down this way. If you're left handed, flip things around. And once you're all done, I guess you can do a once over, take a look, make sure nothing's bridged. If it is, add more heat. Should be able to clear all those paths. Solder just wants to flow, right? So as long as you got contact in the pad, you didn't go drop a big glob in there. And again, add a bit of heat. If all else fails, give the board a nice little <laughs> shake side to side. Whatever glob of solder falls off is good and start over. There you go, should look something like that. And now we have the three other pins here. One's for the battery voltage, one's for the buzzer. And I'm trying to think, what's the third one for? Battery voltage, buzzer. Oh, I'll have to look that up. But me, there's three we're soldering. So that gives us six connections. So give the iron a nice clean. Then on to finishing this off. Home stretch. One more here. And done. All right, so all the soldering is done. Board's ready to install. Nice and clean, and like I said, do it once over. Make sure nothing's bridged. Better to take the time to find those uh, errors now than when you add power to it. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can see. Soldering is all done. Very straightforward. Nothing intimidating there. So I'll have the rest of the build series uh, coming soon. Guys, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.